guys welcome back to my channel just filming a really quick chop up shop for you guys so here i've purchased some of these veggie chips from woolies they're usually six dollars fifty a packet i believe but they are half price for three dollars twenty five 100 grams it comes with i think purple potato sweet potato and taro and then i also grabbed a sweet potato one here at the back i grabbed this heads and shoulders refillable shampoo bag that was $16. It worked out cheaper than me buying the smaller bottles. And I did stock up on a little bit of ice cream because it was half price. So normally it's $12 a tub and this week it was on sale for $6 at Woolies. So I grabbed a Belgium chocolate and a strawberry one that will last quite a while in my freezer. I grabbed some extra sardines. Um, for my dog that's going to go in the stockpile grabbed some tuna my favorite ones the tiki masala and the laksa I think that's a dollar ten each now from Woolies that's going to go into my stockpile and then I've also got some onions which were two dollars a kilo I used my Woolies rewards points to pay for this entire haul so I didn't have any out of pocket in this shop Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Just filming another video for you guys. This week, uh, my partner spent $51 at his Coles shop because we have the flyby offer. Spend $50 each week, four weeks in a row, and you get 10,000 bonus points. And that equates to about 50 flyby dollars. So I'll run through what we purchased and the pricing. As usual, he grabbed a few snacks for himself. So the Thins chips were on sale for half price. So I believe they were $2.32. We grabbed some chicken and we grabbed some sour cream and chives. Um, those are his snacks of choice. And in when I went to Japan, I had that pineapple soft drink, which I told you guys about. It was so good. And I saw Coles have this pineapple soft drink. The colour looks obviously a lot different to the one I had in Japan, but I thought I'd give this a go and see if it's comparable to the pineapple soft drink I had in Japan. Paper towels, they were $1.90. Antibacterial wipes, so these ones used to be $3.50 and now they've gone up to $4.00. So we grabbed this one. There is a cheaper one. I think it's like 120 wipes for 350, but they are completely out of stock. So we just grabbed the usual ones and they've got that price increase, as I mentioned. Grabbed some uh, cherry tomatoes on Markdown. Only 15 cents off, but a saving is better than none. That's going to be news for the salsa that I'm going to make. A lemon, which was $1.20. A couple of oranges. They were $2.50 a kilo this week. Tomatoes were only $4 a kilo this week. So I grabbed a couple of those. Lint um, dark chocolate has gone up in price. Now the sale price is $2.75 when they are half price. At some point, it used to be $2.25. So now the full price has gone up, which means when they do have that 50% sale, that's also gone up as well. Zucchini, this was $3.90 a kilo, I believe. And capsicum was $5.90. Taco seasoning was $1.75. In terms of meal prep, I'm going to include that probably in a separate video for you guys. But just a rough overview, um, my partner's going to pick up some bread later on. So one of the meal prep ideas would be um, grilled chicken, avocado, Japanese mayo sandwich. So that's nice, quick and easy. And then the next one would be a teriyaki chicken and veggie noodle. So we've got some hockey and noodles in the pantry, which we're going to use up. I'll probably stir fry some of the capsicum, zucchini, chicken, and the teriyaki glaze that you guys would have seen one in one of my other hauls. And then the third meal prep idea is going to be a Mexican themed one. 
So some chicken, some capsicum, some onions, which we've already got in the fridge as well. This mix, tomato, avocado, lemon salsa with some refried beans on rice. If you're interested in the meal prep side of things, you guys can just, um, I think I'm going to post that on Tuesday, I believe. So you guys can check that out once it's been uploaded. For the teriyaki chicken noodle dish, I'm probably going to use some of the leftover carrots and onions I've got in the fridge as well. And if I need to further bulk up that meal, I will be grabbing some of the frozen green beans and frozen broccoli that I've got in the freezer. But that pretty much wraps up the grocery haul. I will be doing my own grocery haul on Monday. So you guys will see another one because I've also received a flyby offer where you spend $50 each week, four weeks in a row. So I'm going to be doing my own little grocery haul as well. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video.